It is playoff time with the Pittsburgh Penguins in year one of our GM mode, and my god, we are ready for it. So if you guys missed last episode, we are taking on the Washington Capitals in the first round of the 2021 playoffs. So before we start simulating, I'm going to go over our team and the Capitals team. So heading into the playoffs, we have Eric Stahl, Malkin, and Gensel playing on that first line. Zucker, Crosby, and Kapanen on the second line. Russ, McCann, Tanev on the third. And then Jankowski, uh, Granlin, and Sevier on the fourth line. Granlin being that trade deadline pickup that we did pick up last uh, episode. Uh, on D, we have Michael Matheson paired with Latang, Yannick Weber with Pedersen and then CC with John Marino and then in the Nets we got Casey to Smith and Tristan Jari and I think we are going to be starting Casey to Smith to start the playoffs um I think he had a better regular season if I'm not mistaken we're going to go check that out in a minute and then looking at our depth because injuries are on we have Evan Rodriguez Teddy Bluger and Zach Aston re-scratched the minors um Sam Lafferty can get a shell uh Goudreau maybe uh, Rude Wheel, Ricola, they can get shells as well, Trotman, so hopefully we don't have to really work or have to deal with our depth. We do have d decent depth, but uh, it's obviously better to have a healthy team come playoffs. I mean, it was pretty close. Um, Casey to Smith was technically the starter for the season, so you know what, we're going to have Casey to Smith the start in the playoffs. He earned it, he played more, he had better... Er, Similar stats to Jari, uh, given he played more, so we're going to stick with him. And now let's check on this Washington Capital team. I know um, they're good. I just want to see if they made any changes. So their first line, Ovi, is at a 97 overall. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> Ovi, Kuznetsov, and uh, Verana on that first line. Daniel Sprong, Backstrom, and Connor Sheary, the former Pittsburgh Penguin. Um, we got Tom Wilson, Lars Eller, Oshie, Gathaway, Panic, and Hagelin. So I think we do have a better fourth line. They might, like, Ovi on that first line is crazy. Our second line is probably similar, if not better, and our third lines, um, they might have the better third line there. On defense, Chara and John Carlson at a 91 overall. Schultz and Orlov, Dylan and TVR. So they definitely have a better defense than us. And then in net, they have Henrik Lundqvist at an 84 and then Samsonov at an 83. Um, they have Kempney and Jensen scratch. So, man, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a very interesting playoff series. So given that we just made the playoffs, we are on the road. So the Pittsburgh Penguins are ready to start out their playoff journey, looking to bring another cup home. 2021, first game in Washington, first period. Ooh, that is not the start you want from the Pittsburgh Penguins. So we got Nick Bax from opening up the scoring less than uh, five minutes in. And then Justin Schultz with four to go gets the second one past Casey to Smith at a weird angle as well. So not the greatest first period. We're getting L-shot 18-6. Not good at all. Second period, 3-1. to one. We give up another goal, Lars Ellis. And then Pedersen um, gets us a goal, our defenseman. Um, okay, third period here. We're going to sim it slowly. Power play, nothing going. And Daniel Sprung makes it 4-1, essentially taking us out of the game. Kuznetsov making it 5-1. Um, wow. Um, not the game one we needed. Uh, I think some changes are going to be made because uh, this Pittsburgh Penguins team, um, not looking good, especially in game one here. 5-1, and we take the game one L5 one. It was it was known that we were gonna lose that game. Uh Backstrom had a goal and two assists. Uh Lars Eller with a goal and assist and Henrik Lundqvist had himself a performance of 0.926 save percentage. So Tanev had an assist and Russ had an assist on that Pedersen goal. Um not the greatest performance from us here. Casey Smith not the greatest, a .875 save percentage in Game 1. I think we're going to stick with him in Game 2. He is our guy for this season, um, but we got to make some lineup changes, I think. All right, so we found a way where we can throw Michael Granlin on, or Mikel Granlin on the third line. I think it's better to have him third line than on the fourth. So we now have a third line of Jankowski, Granlin, and Russ, and then our fourth line being Sevier, McCann, and Tanev. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's a minor change. It's nothing too, too big. So that's what we did on offense. Defense, there really isn't much we can do. We could get a plus three down here. 
Um, maybe that's a bit better. We'll keep these guys at an 81 and an 87. Like, those aren't bad ratings. We now have Michael Matheson up to an 83 and Yannick Weber up to a 81. And then these guys get a plus one, 82 and an 80. Not bad. And like I said, we're going to stick with Casey to Smith. He's been our guy this season, so we're going to lean on him um, to have a huge uh, pounce back here. Um, in game two. All right, we're looking for a huge bounce back win here. Again, still in Washington, down one nothing. We do not want to go home down 2-0. We want to split the games in Washington. So here we go. First period, one nothing. Mikel Granlin, the third line forward. We move them up from the fourth line to the third line. He gets a goal that period. Big stuff from Mr. Mikel Granlin, the trade deadline acquisition. Second period, make that 3 nothing. Jason Zucker and Sidney Crosby checking into the series. That is huge. So we got a three-goal lead in the third period. We should be comfortable. We just got to defend here and uh, and close out this game. Really impressed with uh, Mikel Granlin opening up the scoring. And then we had a huge second period to follow up that third period. So good stuff. Again, we're just here to close it out. Casey to Smith having himself a bounce back game. Three to go to one and that is a we take game number two three to nothing three to nothing i was a little bit um critical of casey to smith last game comes into this one gets us the shutout which is absolutely huge uh let's look at the three stars casey to smith as deserved is a first star 26 save shutout michael matheson had two assists good for him and mikel granlin the guy that we moved up to the third line got the goal for us there to start the game off so very good stuff from the Pittsburgh Penguins team in that game two we split the games and we're heading home for game three so moving Pedersen up with Latang got him two assists last game so um, some good changes we made there we absolutely love to see that let's sim to the next game game three on home ice we want to continue our ways here we had a great second game First period, make it one nothing. Christopher Letang on that first pairing checks into the series, gets his first of the playoffs. Make that one nothing Pittsburgh. We are out shooting the Capitals by seven shots. So a great first period. Let's have a follow up second period like last game. Second period, two to one. Evgeny Malkin gets his first of the playoffs, but Hathaway cut in the lead to one there, um, getting his team a goal. So a two one game heading into the third. We need that insurance marker from our team. Um, we need someone to step up, and Ovi has checked into the series. He ties it up from his spot, and then Lars Eller gets one for them. Make it 3-2. to two. We need someone to show up here. We are out shooting them to bits, and we cannot get one past them. And Hathaway, I believe that's his second of the game, makes it 4-2, pretty much making this game out of reach. Horrible third period from this Pittsburgh Penguins team. We lose 5-2. And now Washington leads the series 2-1. Two, two, Three stars of that game, Henrik Lundqvist just had himself a performance, a 33 save performance, a 9-4-2 save percentage. Hathaway had two goals that game, and Crystal Tang getting the third star with a goal and an assist. Not the greatest game three from this Pittsburgh Penguins team. Um, again, you don't want to lose both on home ice. Let's split it at least here. Um, I don't think there's going to be much we can do to the lines. Like, I feel like we played good up until that third period. All right, game four. The Penguins are down 2-1. to one. We need another bounce back win here. So here we go. First period. It's a 1-1 hockey game. Tom, Tom Wilson opens up the scoring, and then Jason Zucker gets one back there on the power play. So good stuff to see. Second period. Oh, can we talk about these shots? We only have four shots to their 14. Not good enough. Okay, second period here. 2-1. 16 shots. We, we up the shots there. Jacob Verana, though, giving his team the lead. Third period here. We do not want to go down 3-1. to one. Heading back to Washington. They're going to have home ice advantage and look to close up the series here. Power play. Nothing going. Not good from the Penguins here. We're up in the shots. We need a goal. We'll tend to go here. Power play for the Capitals. And we don't kill it off. Justin Schultz gets one. 3-1. to one. They're up by two with five to go. And it doesn't look like we're going to get a goal here. And, uh, the offense isn't looking good. Dylan Spr Daniel Sprong making it a 4-1 game. He's been turning it on this series. That's another empty netter for him. 4-1. The Pens go down 3-2-1. Heading back to Washington. Again, Lundqvist with another first star performance. Schultz had a goal and an assist at second star. And Tom Wilson with a goal and an assist. Not good from the Penguins. Backs against the wall. Heading to Washington. We're going to make some changes here. We're forced to make some changes here. 
All right, we're loading it up on the first line here. Um, this might be my inner Sheldon Keefe in me here, but uh, Evgeny Malkin is now playing with Sidney Crosby and Jake Gens, so we are loading up that first line. We need offense, man. We need offense drastically. Second line is looking like happening, Granlin and Zucker, and then the third line is Jankowski, Eric Stahl, Brandon, Brian Russ, and then Sevier, McCann, and Tanev. Defense, again, there's not much we can really change here. We can switch that back around, but he's better there getting a plus three. We might as well just keep it the way it is for now. And Casey to Smith, I mean, he's been pretty good this series. Um, a 903 save percentage uh, could be a little bit better. A 3.10 goals against average ain't the greatest. So we need our best Casey to Smith here. Loading up that first line. Um, just looking at our scoring in these past recent games. We're hoping this helps. Um, we have one that's four, uh, six, seven goals in four games. Um, that isn't good enough. So backs against the walls. Um, load up that first line. Let's see if it works. First period, we're up three to one. So there it is. Mikhail Granlin getting more playing time on that second line gets a goal. John Carlson ties it up, but then Cass Perry Kapanen, the former Toronto Maple Leaf, gets two in this period to give us a three-one lead heading into the second. Huge from Cass Perry. That second line is absolutely flying. Granlin and Kapanen, they're liking it there. So second period, make it five-one. Cass Perry Kapanen getting the hat trick, and Sidney Crosby on that top line with Gino gets a goal, makes it five-one. Huge performance from this Pittsburgh Penguins team it is just time to close out this game and head back home and look for another win to force a game seven we just got to close this game out 10 to go huge performance from the team the lineup changes definitely did help that second line finally got going and the first line finally got going as well we close out this game we take it five six to one Jake Gensel getting one we take it six to one there um, and it's a 3-2 series heading back home. Good stuff from the team. So looking at the three stars here, Kasperi Kapanen, as expected, gets the first star with three goals. Sidney Crosby, second star with a goal and two assists. And Gensel, third star with a goal and two assists. That first line was absolutely feeling it. Good stuff. So yeah, Crosby with three points, Kapanen with three points, Gino with three points. That first line was flying. Gensel with three points. Um, Granlin with two. Stahl with one. Just... Good stuff all around. Uh, Tr uh, Tristan Jari. Casey Smith with a .963 save percentage. Absolutely what we needed from him there. That's the best of Casey to Smith right there. We're heading to Game 7. Back still up against the wall. We're trying to force a Game 7. Uh, we're on home ice, and hopefully that will help us. So here we go. We need a huge performance from that first and second line again. First period, one nothing Washington. Nicholas Backstrom gets the goal for them. Second period. No scoring in the second, so this one is a tighter game. We need um, that first line to step up again. Captain had a great game. If he could continue going, that'd be great. We need Crosby, Malkin, the first two lines just to check in here. So here we go. We need something big here. Again, backs against the wall, trying to force a game seven. Five on four power play, nothing going. And Pedersen gets us the goal and Mikael Granlin on that second line gets us another one two minutes later and Jared McCann another two minutes later makes it three to one Lars Eller cuts the lead to one though oh my god what a third period three to go to the Penguins looking to just close it out here and they don't do it no way TJ Oshi with four seconds to go ties it up and forces a overtime oh no Pittsburgh Oh no, I am in complete and utter shock right now. The Penguins pulled a Leafs. They did it. Four seconds to go. TJ Oshie scores and ties it up and they force an overtime. So who's going to be the game six hero for either side? Here we go. Overtime period. Penguins trying to force a game seven. They have 40 shots on goal. Lundqvist playing out of his mind here. Who is going to be the hero for either side? And we're hoping it's the Penguins' side. Oh, that is a huge kill. And Michael or Mikel Granlin, 4-3. Second line absolutely flying. He gets a second of the game. The Penguins force a game seven. I, I don't care how we did it. I know we blew a lead in the third, but we force a game seven. Things you love to see. Looking at our three stars here, Granlin, the expected first star with two goals and an assist, Jason Zucker with two assists, and 
Patterson with a goal and an assist. Absolutely amazing from this Pittsburgh Penguin team. Um, Granlin had three points. Patterson with two. Kapanen with another two. Zucker with two. Good stuff. And uh, Casey DeSmith with a 9-14. Um, it's good. Um, just not a fan that we blew that third period lead there. But we forced the game seven. We're heading back to Washington, boys. Oh, no. Speaking of heading to game seven, Chris Letang will not be playing in game seven. So that's our top defenseman out. I was going to say, we've been pretty lucky injury-wise, and now Chris Letang is out. So we got to call someone up from the minors here, and uh, Rude Wheel's probably the, the next best, best thing to call up. Um, so I guess he's getting the shot. So what we'll do is we'll have John Marino up on the top pairing there, and we'll throw Rude Wheel on the third pairing. We still get a plus three here, so that's okay. Um, but damn, that Chris Letang being out for game seven definitely hurts us. Game 7 on the road, we need people to step up, especially with Christopher Letang out of the lineup here. So here we go. First period, 1-0 Penguins. Eric Stahl, we're finally getting our depth scoring from our third and fourth line. He gets one past Henrik Lundqvist, gives us a 1-0 lead heading into the second. Second period, oof, okay, so we're feeling the loss of Christopher Letang. TVR gets one and then Lars Eller gets one as well. So we're down by one in the third, Game 7. We need someone to step up for this Penguins team. It's a huge kill to start the period off. So hopefully that gives us some momentum here. Someone on the first two lines. No, Nicholas Backstrom gets one for them. Makes it a 3-2-1 game. Malkin giving us hope though. He gets us one back. Six to go. Okay. Eric Stahl with his second of the game. Make it 3-3. Three to three, Two to go in the third period. Oh my god. We are heading to overtime in game seven. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to head into this game and watch the simulation because why not? All right, here we go. Overtime period starting here. Crosby taking the draw against Evgeny Kuznetsov. Who is going to be the hero here is what we're all thinking right now. Evgeny Kuznetsov drops it to Ovi. Verana. Oh, my God. Casey to Smith. Oh, my God. Casey to Smith. Oh, my God. We almost lost the game on some utter BS. In comes Ovi. Has me a little nervous when I see that 97 Ovi with the puck. Sprung. Good save by Casey to Smith. Here we go. Get a little third line action here. They're getting something offensively. I tried passing it across there. It wasn't great. Out in front. And the Pittsburgh Penguins win game seven. And they're heading off to the second round. They were down 3-1 in the series. And made the series come back. What a play out in front. And the third line gets it done. Let's go, boys. We are sending the Washington Capitals home packing with no trophies. We take out Ovi in the Crosby and Ovi era of playoffs um, facing each other. Goes to Sidney Crosby again. They win it in seven with a huge comeback. Things you'll love to see. We are heading to the second round. Oh my, what a game. Eric Stahl had himself a three-point night for the three stars. The Penguins head into the second round. What a series against the Washington Capitals. Just things you absolutely love to see. So let's see who we are taking on in the second round. And it is the Carolina Hurricanes. So I know we get Christopher Letang back the 25th. So we are without him for games number one and two. So, taking a look at the playoff tree here, the Hurricanes won their series against the Flyers in five, so they've been sitting for a while. Um, looking at the matchups here, we're taking on Carolina, Boston's taking on Tampa, the Leafs got swept by the Bruins, okay, and the Lightning swept the Islanders. Um, looking at the West, it is the Avalanche taking on the Blues, and the Oilers taking on the Arizona Coyotes. So, some good matchups here, um, and we're taking on the Hurricane second round.